Hi everyone, it's Sam Mackay here. Today I want to show you some really cool analysis uh, that you should be able to, to create relatively quickly, I would say, if you just know a few of the techniques that go into it. What we're trying to show here is we want to compare our actual results cumulatively. We want to see how they're going cumulatively, but we want to compare them to budgeted information, but also to last year. Now, the reason why I created this was because I came across a problem where uh, a client had created budget at a yearly level, but they didn't have any allocation for seasonality, for example. So they um, were, I guess, incorrectly analyzing information versus their, their static budget when there was actually some seasonality in the results that would only have really been picked up if you analyzed it versus last year as well. And so I thought that it was it was a very relevant example and something um, you know and, and something that in the in the real world you would actually want to do you'd actually want to analyze you know how your results are going versus a, a budget you might you may have made up but also you do really want to see how it's tracking versus last year as well at the same time and then what we've done here is that we can then select all our different regions. And then for this uh, time frame we've got selected, we can quickly see, okay, well, where was the divergence? Where was the diver divergence uh, between budget and also the divergence between actually actual actually last year? So as you can see here, it looks like, you know, for this particular example, there was, uh, you know, we're underperforming versus budget, but we're actually overperforming versus last year. Um, you know, so that's quite an interesting, interesting insight. Um, and, you know, like some great conversations could be had with that. Okay, so we're going to start from scratch. I'm going to show you how you can actually build all of this in uh, in this one video. And just a note, this will be made available to download. So it will be inside the Enterprise DNA Training Portal. Uh, the details are below uh, below the video for that to um, enroll inside of that. Okay, so let's uh, let's start from scratch. I've uh, created my first measure, so total sales. This is really simple stuff, right? So this is going to be what our actuals is based on. So we're calculating well, how many sales are we making per day, basically. Okay, and then uh, what I also want to do, and I want to, instead of going through every individual step, because I have covered these in other videos, is I've pre-created the budgets per day. So the budgeting per day. Um, so this is where we have to create some sort of allocation logic where we've got yearly budgets but we want we, we actually want to allocate them per day right And so if I create a new measure and I copy this in we can walk through it. And so I've really used variables a lot here and I find these are like, this is a, a relatively new feature to Power BI but a seriously awesome one so I highly recommend um, understanding how the syntax of this how you can actually write this in your formulas. But what I've done here is I've, I've basically recreated a number of steps uh, and put them into one measure. And so go step by step, we can go, okay, we'll work out, um, this is how you work out the allocation um, algorithm for, for your budgets. But what I've done here is days and date context. So if this was aligned, if this formula was aligned to one date, then this would just equal to one. And then here is days in the particular year. And so what we want to do is we want to go one divided by say 365 and then times it by the yearly budget. <clears throat> and so that's exactly what happens down here. We time we divide one by 365, 366, and then we times that by the total budget and that's going to give us our budget allocation for one day. Okay, and then we've got a quick, uh, we've got to calculate, uh, the last one we want to do is we want to calculate total sales last year, right? And so that's not very difficult to do, so I want to go, I'm going to call this sales LY, and then inside of calculate, I'm going to put my total sales, but then I'm going to go same period last year, and then put in dates. Cool, okay, so we've got our core measures set up now, right? And so if I created a table of all of these information, this is all of these data points, then we're, we're gonna see each individual um, result for that particular day, but we want it cumulatively, right? We want it cumulatively. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna create another measure and I'm gonna uh, calculate my cumulative sales. Now I haven't written it out here, I'm just I'm showing you what it is um, because I cover it. I've covered it a number of other times. But all we want to do here is we want to, uh, and this is a pretty standard pattern, you can reuse this over and over again, uh, we want to calculate our total sales but we want to calculate cumulatively here. So what it's doing is it's saying uh, for every single date that we land on, calculate what the max date is. And the max date is always going to be that date 
and then it will go back and look through for every prior date to that date and then calculate the total sales. And that's how we get the cumulative results as we work through every single date. So if I push enter here, uh, that's gonna give me my cumulative sales and then check out what we need to do to actually get the cumulative budgets and the cumulative sales last year. All we need to do is copy and paste this formula and then sub in a new, a new name of the measure and the sales last year, push enter. And then lastly, I'm gonna do the same for the budget. So I'm gonna go cumulative, um, cumulative budgets here. And I'm going to sub in um, my budget allocation measure here. And now, very quickly, we've got our three cumulative totals. And so if I start putting these inside a chart with the date, So I'm gonna put in cumulative sales, my cumulative sales last year, and also my cumulative budgets. And you'll see now that we've got uh, these three aligned on one chart, uh, on one visualization. And I'm just gonna go grab my city names um, and put this into a, a slicer. Just get rid of the blank there. And you'll see now if I click through all of our different cities, we've got this, this cumulative total comparison uh, visualization, which is seriously awesome. And now to finish it off, what we want to do is we want to create, or we want to see, well, what's the deviation? What's the variation between um, you know, our actuals versus our budgets and, and, our, um, and our sales last year? So if I just put this to the back. Okay, so... What I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, just whip up a new measure. I'm going to branch into a new measure here, and I'm going to go actuals uh, versus budgets. And all I've got to do is grab my cumulative sales and minus my cumulative budgets, right? And so if we put this into a visualization, a new visualization, I'm just going to put the date in here as well. You'll see that this is now giving us the variation. And then I can all very quickly recreate this uh, for, I can recreate this measure. Um, I'm gonna go actuals versus uh, last year and just find my cumulative sales this year versus cumulative sales last year. Create a new measure, I'm just copying and pasting and then I'll put that into there like so. You could actually put them on the same, um, same visualization if you wanted to. Um, okay, and then if we click through now we can see. Now we can see that uh, not only the cumulative uh, totals uh, together, we can actually see what the variation is and see where that deviation occurs. And now that I think about it, well, maybe it actually might be quite cool to actually put these on the same chart, have another one where we actually see them together, right? And so I can put my actuals last year like that, and you can see where the real deviation is um, on the same. I, I like that. I like that a lot and we can really see where, the, where that difference is. Now that's some seriously good analysis. Hopefully you can see that as well. <clears throat> and um, hopefully you can you find some way to replicate this in, in your own analysis. So as, as mentioned earlier, this is available to download. So all you gotta do is just enroll in um, Enterprise DNA's uh, training portal, um, and you'll be able to see all of the formulas that have gone into, um, gone into, into this example. Okay, good, all the best uh, and good luck with this, with this um, technique.